we have a doozy coming up here, everyone. Prepare yourself. It's going to get wild. All right, everyone. We have more Tom Waits. It's finally happening. I have not reacted. Kathleen Brennan? Really? Oh, wait, hold on. Is this someone else? This is someone else. I thought this was the woman from Clue. Never mind. <laughs> um, so Tom Waits, um, a lot of people love. My worst reaction, my worst album reaction on YouTube by far was my Rain Dogs video. Um, so I guess I'll use this moment now to clean that up a little bit if I can. Uh, back when I first started doing reactions, I was still working my nine to five retail job. Um, or I should say like six to two retail job. I would get up pretty early to go in and, uh, <clears throat> I would come home and then like I would record for a while. I was recording two reactions a week. So I would record one and then like stop that one and just fresh record another one. And then over the weekend, I would edit edit these videos. And I don't know how I did that because now it feels hard. Granted, I have more kids now as you know, time has gone on. But this was either, I think it was the second. I don't think it was the first. I think it was second after uh, Let Love In by Nick Cave. I know I recorded Rain Dogs and Let Love In at the, on the same day. And I just like, it was after I had gotten off of work and I must have just been tired. And I just like... I did not enjoy this album very much, which honestly, like the, the dark, like gravelly beat poetry cabaret thing with Tom Waits, um, isn't fully my style. Like I've never gone back to any of these tracks except for time. I think time is a beautiful piano, it's piano, right? Uh, piano driven folk track, um, Love it to death. I also think, uh, where is it? Downtown Train is a fantastic track as well. And that's not to say I don't appreciate or think that a lot of these tracks are good. Um, it was just like, I, I was just honestly a bad reaction. And so like, I formally apologize to everyone for having recorded a reaction when I wasn't prepared to do one. So um, now that I'm doing them like once a w once a week, every other week, I am able to make much better reactions. I feel, I hope, uh, you guys be the judge of that. But needless to say, this album, even though I gave it a three, that's just how I felt about it. Um, and that's no like splash on the album at all, or any shade being thrown. Um, and it's like I, I'm not I've not been super eager to get back into him just because. He's a super strong taste, and I haven't figured him out yet. So maybe a artist binge would help with that. I don't know. I'm unsure as to how I should approach him going forward. But we will be doing the title track from Swordfish Trombones, which is the number one album from 83. It, out th it overthrows uh, Murmur for the number one spot, which uh, I'm very bitter about because I love this album. Um so we'll see if this is just absolutely fantastic. I don't know. More of the same, it looks like, from Rain Dogs, which came the uh, the uh came next. So Swordfish Trombone. We will check this out. Um, I'm not tired now, so maybe I can approach this with a much more open mind. Let's check it out. I'm sorry. That was a different one. Here's the Here's the title track. Tim Schafer music. Well, he came home from the war with a party in his head. A matter of fact, program to build. And a pair of legs that opened up like butterfly wings. And a mad dog who wouldn't sit still Went and took up with a Salvation Army band girl Played dirty water from a swordfish trombone And went to sleep at the bottom of Ten Killer Lake It's a cheap but it's great to be home Well he came home from the war with a party in his 
hands in an idea for a fireworks display didn't knew that he'd be ready with a stainless steel machine a half a pound of valentine's each day that they hold up in a room above a hardware store cry nothing ever hollywood tears put a spell on some 42 crutch feet yeah, his folkier stuff I really like. He packed up all his expectations. He lit out for California with a fly swan of banjo on his knee. With lucky tiger in his angel hair. Ben's a dream for getting there. Found him in a eucalyptus tree. Lieutenant got him a canary bird and skanked her head with every word. Chester fielded moonbeams in a song. I have not. Um, as far as like his filmography goes, I don't think I've seen him at all. You know, you got to respect Tom for, like, when he was making this kind of music, like, no one cared. Like, no one else was doing this. Um, Like, mid-80s, like, what was dominating mid-80s? Uh, New wave, hard rock, you know? Um, but he was just like, no, I'm over here doing my singer-songwriter uh, poetic jazz cabaret stuff. That sounds really weird. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> um, that was good. That was good. See, like, this is the thing with Tom Waits is, like, it's such a strong taste that if you don't have, like, an aspect of your personality that really vibes with it, it's hard to listen to. Or it's hard to pick it to listen to. Like, I had a fine time listening to that. But I also just don't care enough personally to seek it out. I don't know. Is that just me? <laughs> 